And today we're going to be looking at the unboxing of a HP Mini Smart Server. I'm not going to be connected up to the network, I'm just going to go through what's in the packaging and on a future video we can actually look how we connect it up and how I get it synced up with the rest of my equipment. But this is the packaging, it's the HP Media Smart Server, Windows Home Server, and we've seen the Tranquil Home Server on the previous show. So I'm going to get through the packaging and let's see what's inside this unit. First, we've got a box here. Okay, it's very tightly packed. It's an interesting box. Let's see what's in here. We've got a power cable. Ethernet cable, software installations, installation disk, warranty, installation and troubleshooting guide, and a setup poster. Let's take a look at the poster. Quite details here, I can show you that. Okay. So, what we've got on the poster is um, what's in the box. Let's have a look. So we've got what's in the box, and uh, it shows us connecting the home server, connecting the home server up, and then getting started. That's quite a nice little chart, that. We won't be needing that just yet, but it's quite good for, for new users. In terms of software, I would imagine we get the connector for the PCs. So we've got a software installation disk, a restore disk, and a server recovery disk. So these will be, I think, the client disk that you go into your Vista or your XP machine and install so you can use the home server console and control the media center PC control the home server through the console so it could be on your media center PC we've got a server recovery disk which is a way of booting the or, re, or rebuilding the home server image what, but retaining the data and we've got a restore disk so this is for a machine where you say you fitted a new hard drive or whatever and you, or Windows is corrupt you just want to restore the whole image you can use this CD and then pick the image that you uh, backed up previously and bring it down, bring the files down. So let's look at the server unit now. Make it smaller now. So this is the home server itself. So this is a small box inside the plastic. So here we have the home server. A nice small unit if we compare that size wise. I do look a lot of videos. The Xbox 360 controller. You can see here that it's not particularly a big unit. Okay, so I've moved the camera down now so we can have a closer look at the unit. So see it's nice and small, nice and compact. Uh, the front panel opens up here and we've got the drive bays and there's a lock there so I've just unlocked this. The drive bay is pretty simple, you click the catch and you just pull the caddy out. So you can fit, you don't need any tools or anything, you can just install your hard drive in there, put this in, close it up, lock it down. So already fitted in this is a 500 gig drive and I didn't need to unlock that to get this one out I just did the unlock for this one which I presume is the system drive so we're going to try and take that out now 
Uh, this one seems fixed in, perhaps. There we go. And this is a 500 gig drive. So have a look at the connectors on here to fit this in. It's a serial ATA. Just put the drive in. So let's fit this back in now. Okay, that seems it. And then I can lock it back with this, which just turns a little lock on there. So on the front here, we've got a a USB. Oh, you can see that through there. Uh, we've got USB port and some indicator lights. And over on the back, we've got get USB ports. There's three there. There's a serial ATA connection there, so for connecting extra drives, network, on off switch, and power. And that's it. There's not nothing else, nothing else goes into that. Very small, very neat. So for a size comparison, what I'm going to do is I'll put it next to my Xbox and let's see how I'll look how big it is. So there it is next to the Xbox 360. And you can see how small it is really, it's a, it's a very small, uh, neat unit and uh, not much difference in the size of the Tranquil machine but to have a look at the video that I've done for that there should be a link for that in the show notes so you'll find it on the video page on the digitallifestyle.com so the, uh, the next video what I'll probably do is connect that up and get that set up on my network and uh, I've got a home built Windows home server that I'm probably going to change to a media center PC and this will be my home server so I'll have a look at doing that then so thanks very much for watching the video I'll see you around on the digital lifestyle at Bye.